Here's a despicable video of Marjorie Taylor Greene. That's not separation of church and state, and Donald Trump is the farthest thing from God. He is a man who tried to violently overthrow the government after he lost a free and fair election by 7 million votes. This is hardly the first time we've seen Marjorie Taylor Greene pop off in a public setting and weaponize her belief in God for political purposes. And I'll admit, when I first saw this video, I didn't really understand what the big deal was. She does stupid stuff like this every day day to get attention. What's new? But it's getting increasingly clear that she is ramping up the invocation of God in public spaces and specifically relating God to Trump, and that should worry us. Green has no business being a politician. She has no interest in making and shaping policies to help Americans, and she's basically a lame duck in Congress, having been stripped of all her committee assignments. So in the absence of any core values, she's using her superficial Christianity to to make the case for her being in office because she has nothing else. In other words, we all know that the Christian right votes and they often vote on single issues, abortion, guns. So if Green can just keep virtue signaling that she represents that Christian right and their faith, there's no need for them to really do any digging into her policy stances because she shares their overall moral background. It's so clear that this is her only strategy. She seeks out these opportunities to posture about Trump and God and I found the longer video of this on Twitter, and here's how the interaction starts. The crowd is at first unaware that she's even around before she starts jumping in and chanting so that they then turn and start to praise her. Um, in Christianity, there are a couple things called virtues that are really important to have, and one of them is humility. And this display is one of the most prideful, aggressive acts I've ever seen of a politician. <laughs> And again, she's going out of her way to make this statement. This is one of the many instances where Green has weaponized her faith, if it can even really be called that, to say the quiet part out loud as to what she's really doing in Congress, constantly sowing chaos and discord so that absolutely nothing can be done to help Americans. Combining this religious rhetoric and tying it directly to a political figure is nothing short of Christian nationalism, something Green herself has openly called for. Just a few weeks ago, she said in an interview that, quote, we need to be the party of nationalism, and I'm a Christian. And I say it proudly, we should be Christian nationalists. This movement is growing. And what we have to know is that it obviously perverts the very ideas this country was founded on when it comes to the separation of church and state, but it's also a perversion of Christianity, which shows that Green doesn't care about her faith or her country nearly enough as she does her own power and taking that power away from the rest of us. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.